Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, November 29th, 2016. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican announced Monday it will be replacing retiring Bishop Robert Lynch in the St. Petersburg, Florida Diocese. Lynch has a history of pushing a pro-homosexual, anti-tradition agenda. Following the Orlando massacre in June, where a Muslim man murdered 49 people at a gay nightclub in the name of Islam, Lynch wrote that Christianity, specifically Catholicism, is to blame for hateful rhetoric against gays. Following the comments, Lynch was publicly corrected by a brother bishop, Thomas Wensky of Miami, a rare occurrence. Replacing Lynch is Bishop Gregory Parks, a 47-year-old prelate who's been publicly outspoken against so-called gay marriage. The suspect killed in Monday's Ohio shootings was a Muslim refugee who killed in the name of Islam. Abdul Razak Ali Artan, an 18-year-old Somali refugee who lived in Pakistan before coming to the United States, published a tweet shortly before he plowed his car into a crowd of students on the campus of Ohio State University Monday morning and chased them down with a butcher knife. He wrote, America, stop interfering with other countries, especially Muslim Ummah. We are not weak. We are not weak. Remember that. Artan was killed by police during his attack. Thousands of Cubans lined up to pay respects to the cremated remains of Cuban dictator Fidel Castro Monday. The communist dictator died Friday after governing Cuba for six decades and is responsible for the deaths of as many as 80,000 political and religious dissenters, a number of whom were executed by firing squad. Many world leaders are declining to attend his funeral, including Russia's Vladimir Putin and Canada's Justin Trudeau, who received backlash after offering praise to Castro on his death. President Obama is also not attending. Michigan announced Donald Trump the official winner Monday after certifying all of its votes. Almost three weeks after Election Day, the Michigan Board of State canvassers announced that Trump beat Clinton by more than 10,000 votes. That brings his Electoral College votes up to 306. The news comes amid calls by Independent Party candidate Jill Stein for a recount in Michigan as well as Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania announced, however, that Stein missed the deadline for a recount which was last Monday, November 21st. Trump is calling the recount a scam, while President Obama says the election results reflect the will of the people. More than 300,000 Northern Irish have said no to abortion. Monday morning, a spokesman on behalf of Precious Life, a Northern Ireland pro-life group, presented the signatures to the Northern Ireland Speaker of the Assembly. The signatures were given in response to about 45,000 signatures submitted by a pro-abortion group last week, that sparked a discussion in the government about legalizing abortion. Northern Ireland, one of the most pro-life nations, is under pressure by the United Nations and other groups trying to force the abortion agenda. I'm Christine Niles. Those are church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about death. And check out The Download, where the panel discusses Advent. Please share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.